What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970. Thanks for taking the time to check out my video. And as I promised, I'm going to start doing a couple of videos about how you could make your own organic products, uh, things that are going to be better for the environment, things that are going to be better for your skin, and it's going to be better for your wallet. So um, today's video is going to talk about how you could make your own organic soaps, and I'll do some other uh, types of videos later on in the week and help you save some money and do things that are better for your skin. Um, what you're going to start out with, the things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need things like measuring cups. You're going to need a double, a double boiling system. What you need, basically, the easiest way if you don't have a double boiler is you're going to use two separate pots. The bottom pot, you're going to fill about a quarter of the way with water. Uh, you don't want to do it too high, otherwise when you start boiling the water, it's going to start overflowing. And you're going to put all the products in the pot that is the smaller one inside here. So you're going to need things like spatulas, mixing spoons, things like that. So let's get into the ingredients. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a, this is an organic glycerin soap base. This basically, I'll show you. It almost looks like lard, but this is primarily what your soap is going to be made of. So you're going to start out with about two cups of the organic soap base. The glycerin soap base is made of um, fats out of things like coconuts and other fruits. So this is all natural for you. And since it's organic, it's going to be much better for your skin. Okay, so you're going to use two cups of organic glycerin soap base. The easiest way to get that stuff out, because it's 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 soft, but it's still kind of hard, difficult to get out, um, I recommend getting an ice cream scooper. That'll help get it out a lot quicker. So from there, you're going to place only the um, glycerin soap into your double boiler. Now, if you watch a lot of shows that talk about making your own soaps, um, they're going to discuss how you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, let it melt, and move on. Now, if you want the soap to last longer, what you want to do is you want to actually first take whatever amount of time. You're going to set it on a medium, um, medium to high setting. And again, you're only going to put water in the bottom pot. You're going to put your glycerin soap base in the smaller pot. Continually stir it until it melts. That should take about two to three minutes, depending on the size of the pieces of the glycerin soap that you put in there. Once it's melted, you're going to set a timer for 20 minutes, and you're going to basically continue to stir that glycerin soap base for 20 minutes. Now, the reason you want to do that is uh, the glycerin soap base has a lot of water in it. So if you do like most uh, tutorials tell you, and that's just put it in the microwave until it melts, which is maybe 30 seconds to a minute, it still has the water in it. What's going to happen is your soap is going to be very soft, and it's also, when you take it into the shower, after two or three times, the soap's going to be completely dissolved. So it's a waste of money, and you want to make sure that you're saving money by doing this. So when you cook it on medium to high heat, again, in the do double boiling system that I showed, it's going to evaporate a lot of the water. It's going to make the soap a lot harder, and it's going to last a lot longer. So that's the only ingredient you're going to put in to that main boiler. You're going to need another bowl or another pot, whatever's easy for you, to mix the rest of the ingredients while you're, you're stirring the other part of the soap base. So what you're going to start out with, and I'll show you, I actually get this directly. It's directly from Ghana, from Africa. This is premium shea butter. Very good for the skin. And, of course, it's all organic. You're going to take one tablespoon of the organic shea butter. Okay, next. And, again, I'm not endorsing. I'm not going to be endorsing any particular products. I'm only showing the ones that I happen to have. I'm not going to buy 50 different varieties. So if you find a different one that's better for you, go for it. Okay, this is organic coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil. You're going to add three tablespoons of the organic coconut oil. Um, the coconut oil is going to be very good for your skin, and it's also going to create a lot of the lathering when you use the soap. Uh, from there, you're going to get um, a tablespoon of organic coconut milk. Um, unfortunately, I ran out the other day making some of the soap, so I don't have one to show you. But again, it's just regular coconut milk. It's organic. 
you're going to use one tablespoon of that you're going to take here's um all natural organic avocado oil again very good for the skin you're going to use about a half tablespoon of the avocado oil then you have vitamin e oil vitamin e is very good for the skin you're going to take about a quarter of a teaspoon of the vitamin e oil now this is one of the few ones i'm going to recommend the brand this is lily of the desert aloe vera gel this is actually such pure organic gel that you actually can eat this this is actually something that's consumable so i buy the gallon jar you can put it in the refrigerator it lasts for two to three years so you can even put this in your food when you're not using it for your soap so this is edible and very beneficial for you and obviously we know that aloe vera is very good for your skin so you're going to take a half a tablespoon of that you're going to use any essential oils you want you don't want fragranced oils you want only essential oils that's oils directly from something like a peppermint plant eucalyptus plant it depends on your personal choice um, that's up to you one of my personal favorites this is vanilla essential oil uh, people use lavender there's, there's endless amounts of choices so that's up to you you're going to use approximately <coughs> excuse me five to ten drops basically the more you put in the more potent the odor is going to be for the soap and then last but not least you're going to add about a teaspoon to two teaspoons this is pink himalayan salt um, it's full of minerals which is very good for the skin and it will actually also um, double as an exfoliant so it will basically when you place it into the mold you, it'll it'll settle to the bottom so basically one side you'll have as an exfoliant it's not something you need but it's something that will enhance so obviously you're also going to need some kind of soap mold that depends on your preference i mean i like to use the rectangular shape because i want it to look like a regular bar of soap so what you're going to do is you're going to take the other ingredients set it on a, a low setting mix the, all that material together the reason that you want to do both at the same time is once you take your double boiler with your soap base and it's ready to go after about 20 to 22 minutes um, it will harden very quickly so if you already have the stuff pre-mixed it's going to make it a lot easier so once the 20 minutes is up you're going to shut off the heat keep stirring it a little bit you're going to add the other ingredients and then all you have to do and this is what i recommend you definitely want to get a pot that has a little bit of a pouring lip it's going to make it a lot easier because otherwise it's going to go all over the place so all you do from there is you're going to place them into your molds um, it takes usually anywhere from an hour or two and it's completely done or you can place it in your refrigerator and it's going to be even faster and this will be the end result as you could see it's not something that's squished a lot of people that make homemade soaps they're very squishy and again that's because of the fact that um they don't take the water out of the glycerin by giving that extra time to cook the glycerin soap base which means this is going to last a lot longer um this is probably about three ounces of uh weight altogether i've been using this every day and let me tell you something when you make this your skin you won't need moisturizer anymore your skin is a lot softer because it's full of vitamins minerals it, it doesn't have chemicals it doesn't have things like petroleum and other harmful chemicals and to prove that for yourself once you use this for about a week go back to your regular soap and watch how quickly you'll notice the difference of how dry your hands are so this will also moisturize your skin it's going to be full of vitamins and minerals it's going to smell really good and it's going to save you money in the long run because you're buying it especially if you buy it in bulk some of these ingredients will last for years so you know if you have a large family you could make these basically when you need them so if you buy things in bulk you're going to save yourself a lot of money so hopefully this will help you to be able to start on your way to start getting better ingredients better things for your body um, it's going to be cheaper for you in the long run if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask i'll be more than happy to ask um, if you don't want to make these i actually am going to be selling these 
on my Oregon website. I'm going to get a whole section of uh, healthy products. But as you see, you don't have to buy it from me. I'm showing you exactly how to make it so you can do it on your own. But if you are interested in purchasing from me, um, I will post the link in the description box below with all the ingredients. So I will write that down for you as well. So um, hopefully you guys will try this out. You'll see in the long run how much better this is for your skin. Uh, even for guys making this for your wives or your girlfriends, it makes a great gift for people and it's something you could do together. So um, I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, again, with the essential oils, that is up to you. You can add any type you want or you can not add any at all. That's just if you want to have a scent to your soap. And um, let me know if you try it and what you think of the results. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll have more to come. Have a great day and happy making. Peace.